So this week I found myself doing a whole heap of presentations and what I really wanted to do is hone down and make sure I got my pitch just right. Now, one of the tools that I ended up using is a speech to text converter so that I could really nail in and output a transcript of what I was actually saying. So in this video, we'll take a look at how to do exactly that. We'll use a speech to text service to convert our audio into text. This has a whole wide range of applications. So say for example, you had study notes that you wanted to convert into text-based notes, or say you recorded the minutes of a meeting using audio. This can allow you to speed up your processes a whole lot faster. And the best advantage of this video is that it's only gonna take 15 lines of code to get it all done. Ready to get to it? Let's take a deeper look at what we're gonna be covering. So in this video, we're gonna cover the three key things that you really need in order to convert speech to text. We'll cover how to set up a speech to text service using IBM Watson. We'll then take a look at the basics of how to convert audio to text. And last but not least, we'll look at how we can refine our language models to use language models specific to your language or accent. Now, in terms of how we're going to be doing it, we're going to be working mainly within Jupyter and working with Python. So with Python, we'll read in our audio files. So in this case, we'll be using an MP3. We'll then use our speech to text service to convert that MP3 to text. That will then be stored within a dictionary inside of Python. And last but not least, we'll use that dictionary and export it to a text file. So then you can use the output of the speech to text conversion in other use cases or deploy it wherever you want. So ready to get to it? Let's do it. So let's dive straight into it. So for this tutorial, we're going to be working with Python and specifically, we're going to be using a Jupyter Notebook. So that's going to allow us to interactively code and convert our speech to text. Now there's two additional things that we need to have set up before we actually go ahead and start writing our code. So ideally we wanna have an MP3. So in this case, I've got one called untitled.mp3, which is just me saying, hello world. So we should be able to convert that from speech to text once we run our API. The second thing that we're going to need is a speech to text API service. Now we're going to be using the Watson speech to text service. So in order to set that up, all you need to do is go to cloud.ibm.com forward slash catalog. And the first service that you see pop up should be speech to text. Now, if that doesn't show up, all you need to do is go to services, AI machine learning, scroll all the way down and you should be able to see speech to text. Now, when setting this up, all we need to do is select it and choose the free tier. So there's more than enough capacity if you're just getting started. So you can convert up to 500 minutes of speech per month. So in this case, we're just going to select light and hit create. So this is going to create our API key as well as our URL that we're now going to be able to use to convert our speech to text. Awesome, so as soon as our service has been created, all we need to do is select manage and we're going to have our API key and our URL. So we'll save those for later. Let's get started with our Python code. So in terms of our Python code, there's a couple of key things we need to do. So install and import our dependencies, set up our speech to text service, actually convert that data. And then, and last but not least, I'm also gonna show you how to use different language models inside of the Watson speech to text service. So let's get started and lay out our framework and then import and install our dependencies. So in order to lay out our framework, I'm just gonna be using a little bit of markdown inside of our Jupyter notebook. So you can convert a cell from code to markdown simply by selecting M. And you can see we've now converted to markdown. So we're gonna include four cells. The first one is going to be our import and install dependencies. Second one, again, setting up our speech text service. Third is converting our audio. And then last but not least, we'll do that uh, conversion to a different language model. Full disclosure, you can skip this markdown layout if you don't wanna do it. I just find it lays out your code a lot nicer. Okay, so that's our markdown laid out. Now let's go on ahead and install and import our dependencies. Okay, so in this case, we only have one dependency that we need to install and that's the IBM Watson SDK. So that's our dependency installed. Now let's go on ahead and import the stuff that we're going to need. So those are our dependencies imported. So we've imported IBM Watson and specifically we've extracted the speech to text class from that. And we've also imported the IAM authenticator from the core SDK. So the speech to text service is going to allow us to do that conversion and the IAM authenticator is going to allow us to authenticate against our speech to text API. Now let's go ahead and set up our speech to text service. 
So the first thing that we need to do when setting up our speech to text service is we need to grab our API key and our URL that we set up inside of our Watson speech to text service on IBM Cloud. So in this case, we're just gonna create two variables, one called API key and one called URL, and we're just gonna copy those details over from our provision service. So let's go on ahead and do that. So we can just go to Watson, copy our API key, and paste that as a string, and then do the same thing with our URL. So those are our two service credentials set up. Now what we actually need to do is set up that service. So we'll use our speech to text class and our IAM authenticator to set that up. Perfect, that's our service set up. So in just three lines of code, we've got our service. So what we did is we set up an authenticator. So this is going to allow us to authenticate against our speech to text service. We then created an instance of our speech to text class. So this is going to allow us to perform that conversion. And then we set our service URLs. So this is basically where our API sits in the World Wide Web. Now what we can do is grab our file and perform that conversion. So in this case, we're just going to delete that extra cell. So in this case, we're just going to open up our file using the with statement, and then we're going to perform that conversion using our speech to text service here. So let's do that. Now remember our file is called untitled.mp3. So in this case, we're going to pass through the name of our file here. So if your file name is something different, just make sure you update it so that it represents your file name. Awesome, and there you go. So we've now converted our speech to text. Now you can see that it's actually returned hello well. So because I've got a bit of an Australian accent and because we're using our US narrowband model, it might not be performing that well. But what we're gonna do in a sec is convert that to the Australian language model so that we get a much more accurate result. Now we can also export the results that we've actually got here. So in this case, say we wanted our text component, we can access the alternatives and specifically our transcript by traversing this response here. So we can do that. And you can see we've now extracted our conversion. Likewise, we can also extract our confidence result as well. So all we need to do to access our confidence result is just change this last key here to confidence. And you can see we're now grabbing our confidence interval. If we wanted to, we can actually export this out to a text file. So if we wanted to work with it in something else, say you're converting your study notes or meeting minutes, you can export that to a text file as well. So let's go on ahead and do that. And so what we've basically done is we've created a new file called output.txt. We've written out to it and we've passed through this text variable that we just created. So if we go back into our folder, so you can see that we've now got a file called output.txt that contains our conversion. Now, remember I said that right now we're using the US narrowband model. So rather than it coming out with a conversion that says, hello world, it's saying hello well. Now we can easily fix that just by using the right language model. Now there's a whole bunch of language models that you can use depending on your natural language or accent. So if we actually go to our speech to text documentation, you can see there's a whole bunch of different types of language models. So in this case, we might actually wanna use the Australian one. So let's grab our Australian narrowband model. And then rather than converting with our US narrowband model, we can convert with our Australian one. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this cell here. And instead of converting with our US narrowband model, we'll just paste in our Australian one in there. Now, if we take a look at our conversion this time, you can see that it's accurately converted our speech from hello well to hello world. So we've actually gone and created a much more accurate conversion from our speech to text. And that about wraps up this tutorial. So what we've done is we've set up our speech to text service. We've converted our speech to text using Python and using the speech to text SDK. And last but not least, we've also gone through how to convert and change our language models. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell so you get notified of any of my future videos. If you've got any questions at all or need a hand, be sure to drop a mention in the comments below and let me know what you guys would like to use the speech to text service for. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Peace.